Hello and welcome back to NorCal 715. Today I have a second micro cassette recorder, GE Model 3-5377A. If I open the door on this one and try to press play, you can see it moves, but if I just barely move the switch, we lose it. The slightest touch on the pause button does it. Play. See if I can twist the case. Nope. I heard it start and stop. Well, let's open it up, see what's inside. This one has four screws in the back. All right, let's see if the back easily pops off. There it goes, just needs a little bit more force. So we'll peel off the adhesive tape they have. There we go. Got them all saved on the back here. We'll have to unsolder the head. make a couple notes on the board so I know where to go back. Just in case. There we go. Now I know where the black goes and where the red goes. This is the head, the record play head. Go ahead and unsolder the little condenser microphone as well. There we go. Oh, so here's the board, and there's a couple switches. That one's actually got a little bit of glue on the back. There's the record play switch. We'll go ahead and clean that. Speed selector switch over here. Not sure what that one is. Vox, not Vox, probably. Uh, anyhow, here is the main power switch right here. And what we'll do is we'll bend the contacts up just a little bit closer. And we'll take a little piece of paper and put it in between here and actually clean and polish the contacts. So what I've got is a piece of post-it note here. And I'm just going to put it in between the contacts. And then we'll actuate the back contact so you have a better view. Push it against the front one. And we'll just drag it back and forth a few times. Hopefully you can see it. There you can see the oxidation that's come off of it already just by using the little piece of post-it note. Paper is a very good polishing agent to polish these switches. So if you have gold flash relays and they're not working correctly, you can actually take a piece of paper and polish the contacts in silver or gold plated relays. You don't need to burnish them. Just a simple polish will bring them back to life. And look at how much dirt and crud we got off that switch already. Now I'm going to tension this a little bit just in case the contacts might have become worn. So I'm just going to move it forward. There, it's got a very small gap now so there's a much better chance of it making a connection at this point. So I'm just going to give the other switches a quick spritz of deoxid. Try to get it in the, into the opening. Then we'll 
work it back and forth a few times. Do all the rest of the switches exactly the same way. Look at all those little capacitors just waiting to go bad. You know my my history on ESR and small capacitors is just absolutely terrible. Now we'll try to get the record play switch. So now on this switch, if you can get the nozzle up underneath the switch, up in here, give it a couple little spritzes. We'll work it back and forth a few times. We'll go ahead and hit that power switch with just a, a droplet. And then work it a few times to polish the contacts, work both sides. So while I've got this unit apart, let's go ahead and clean the transport. So I've got my uh, acetone here and a Q-tip and I'm just gonna dip it I'm just going to wipe off the uh, audio record playback head, the rest head. I'll wipe the capstan off. And I'm going to scrub the pinch roller. And if you notice, I'm rotating the Q-tip slightly. A little fuzz there, get rid of that. I'm gonna re dip this in the acetone. I'm trying to rotate the pinch roller. Every time I scrub it up a little bit. Now let's go ahead and flip this back over. And we got the main belt here. Let's go ahead and take that off. So I'm going to put it in my paper towel. You've seen me do this before. Fold it so it's in the crease. I'm going to put it on the acetone bottle. Wet it. And just pull it through. And get to a good clean spot here. So the belt's nice and clean. That's how much gunk we took off. So now I have another Q-tip here. And what I'm gonna do is try to flatten this out so it'll fit down in the groove. Re-wet it with the acetone. And now I'm gonna put it in the groove of the pulley of the capstan flywheel and go ahead and scrub it. Look at all that dirt we got off. Do the same thing on the motor pulley here. Look at all the dirt we removed. I'll go ahead and put the belt back on. There we go. It's all good. So let's go ahead and put it all back together now and see if it works. There we go. Make sure the battery terminals are in their little slots. The core play switch is, is engaged correctly. Next, I'll put the two screws back in. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and load the pads up. Fresh solder.
Now we'll go ahead and load up the pads for the condenser microphone. Go ahead and put their adhesive back on. There we go. All right, so we'll go ahead and put the cover back on it now. Put the four long screws back in it. Make sure the switches are engaged. Yep, they feel fine. Go ahead and put the fast forward rewind switch on. Feels fine. One screw in the battery cover. Put the batteries back in it. Close the door. Open the tape door. Press play. Get run. Pause. Play. Pause. So I made a recording. We'll go ahead and play it back. Audio test. One, two, three, four. If you enjoyed this video, please consider making a donation on my YouTube homepage. Work the paper.